The original 1986 GSXR motor made 125 real-world horsepower through its unique coil and air-cooled 16-valve motor. With no radiator and lessons learned from the lightweight 750 launched the previous year, the 1074cc engine turned out to be more reliable with a little more BHP but a much healthier 80 feet to pounds of torque. We've sneakily spotted a next-gen 1157cc bandit engine in there and together with fuel injection to replace the 36mm CV carbs we're well on the way to 150bhp in just 5 rubber shredding gears and not a coolant hose in sight. Seeing all that space in the frame is just so satisfying. While the 80s bike had a lightweight box section cradle we used tubular steel, if it's good enough for Kawasaki's 200bhp plus H2 it's good enough here. Modern day concessions involve the move to smaller 17 inch wheels over the skinny 18 inches, radial braking setup, stronger swing arm and although we've got USD forks at the front the piggyback reservoir twin shocks keep things simple and are perfect for that retro vibe. We've included pillion pegs but in the interest of aesthetics and discouraging passengers we've left their seat pad at the warehouse. Oops, 